Hey Aries, welcome to your September 2015 tarot scope. And I see that there's a lot of Virgo sixth house energy happening in the month of September for you. Not very surprising because we have the sun in Virgo for the first three weeks of the month. In the last week on the 23rd, it will go into the sign of Libra, and that will be your seventh house of relationships. So for the time being, you might want to invest in some bee pollen and raw carob powder and really become a vegetarian or something like that, because Virgo is not just a health nut, but it's an alternative health nut. Virgos like herbs and things of that nature rather than the standard types of over-the-counter medicines. And it's totally in alignment with Virgo to be a vegetarian, to like to go to health food stores and that sort of thing. So that might be the energy that you're kind of channeling for most of September. There's a new moon in this health sector on the 13th of September, and this will be at 20 degrees Virgo. It will be a partial solar eclipse, so it's three times as powerful as the regular new moon. There's also going to be, at the end of the month, a total lunar eclipse in your opposite sign of Aries at four degrees. And this will fall into your partnership sector and should bring about dramatic developments in your personal relationships, partnerships. Mercury is going retrograde on the 17th of the month. And this will be in that relationship sector as well. So make sure when Mercury goes retrograde, that there are no misunderstandings with your significant other or with any kind of business partnership that you have, or if you are dealing with a court case, be very careful about any kind of paperwork that needs to be signed. It, it is advisable not to sign it during this time, but sometimes that's unavoidable. You have Mars and Venus, both in Leo, your fifth house of creativity. Venus has been retrograde. It will be so until the sixth of the month, and then it goes direct. And this is related to love relationships. So you have Venus in the romance sector. So this is a very good energy, especially during the retrograde. You might have had a love affair with somebody that you were with in the past, but in any case, it's great for attracting a love relationship. Mars is there as well. This is good artistic energy for the drive to be an artist and to create. Venus there is also great for this. Just make sure that with Mars in the fifth house that you don't get too pushy, aggressive when it comes to romance or with your children. So you should be careful about not being too rash when you're engaging in physical activities. Jupiter recently went into the sixth house in Virgo. So for the next year, you will have the opportunity to be blessed with good health. If this is something that is not the case at the moment or hasn't been the case, then you will either find some doctor that is helpful for you. It might be an alternative doctor, or you will just heal of your own accord. But it also can indicate that you are blessed just with an abundance of everyday work, or that you are in a workplace that is very copacetic. You know, you enjoy the people. You find people who are helpful to you on the job. Saturn has gone direct, but it's still in the later degrees of Scorpio. And so this is your eighth house. It will be going into the ninth house on the 17th of the month. This will be your sector of 
philosophical inquiry. So you might really get kind of serious with some sort of religious organization, or it might be that you go on a long journey and you are treating it as some kind of a pilgrimage and it's very important to you. So I think overall, to summarize, Aries, I think this will be a month where you kind of are more serious in a lot of ways. You kind of are buckling down. Your sixth house is taking center stage with the sun and new moon there and Jupiter being there as well. But also, I think that there is still room for romance and creativity with Venus and Mars in the fifth. So I think that it will be a very nice balance of energy in the month of September. And I've picked your cards, and I just got the Morgan Greer deck, and I really am enjoying it. You're the first sign that I am doing this for, and so that's perfect because you're the first sign of the Zodiac, and you like to be first, so you got to be first. And these are borderless cards, but what I like about it is... It's very faithful to the Rider Waite deck, in a sense. Even though the pictures, depictions aren't exactly the same, I do think that it's easy to recognize and to kind of see what's happening more than some of the other decks that might be total, totally new interpretations. I don't know. I'm not really someone who has seen a lot of decks, but I mean, from the videos I've watched on YouTube, it seems that there are a fair number that really create their own vision for each card, and it might not be easy to grasp if you're new to the troll. But I happen to like the original interpretations so I don't think you can really improve upon perfection. But, you know, I, I might just end up getting several other decks as time goes on. So the overall energy I got for the month of September for you is the Justice card. And, of course, you know, one of the first things we can say is that it might relate to a court case. So for all of you who have a pending court case and you know that September is a time when it might heat up again, that might be what September is all about for you. For those who have nothing on the docket like that, it could be that there is some situation that you have felt that you were not treated fairly and the tables will be turned. And so I think that is really great because, you know, there's a feeling when you've been judged harshly or that someone has done you wrong and you feel that it's so unfair. And sometimes when life feels unfair, it's so disempowering, you know, and it's so discouraging because it feels like you're a total victim. But then something happens where people get vindicated. And sometimes, like, for instance, with malicious gossip, it can be that, Somebody else says, oh, no, that didn't happen like this and this and this. And then they go, oh, man, the whole time I thought this person did this. And it turns out I was totally wrong about that because I was listening to these other people. So whatever the case is, know that you will kind of come out smelling like a rose. And that's nice. For the first half of the month, I got the Nine of Cups, which is the Wish Fulfillment card. It's one of the most positive cards to pick in the deck. And so this basically means that you are really enjoying what has come to you. And even though it's a cups card, which usually relates to some emotional energy, there's definitely a an aura of prosperity associated with this card. Okay. And then with that card, I got the five of swords. And this is kind of a a little bit either of some kind of a sketchy energy. It doesn't have to be you, but somebody might be, you know, and this might go back to the justice card where somebody's trying to 
do something against you. And there's um, um, a feeling that, you know, you need to always be above board, you know, and Aries usually are, you know, most Aries people are very honest and open people and they don't have an artifice. They, they're not fake. So this could be somebody else who's trying to work against you. Again, with that justice card, I don't think that they will be getting anywhere if they are trying to do something underhanded. For the second half of the month, I got the Page of Wands. And this could be a young woman who plays a part in your life in the second half of September. She may have light hair. If this is a work situation, she may help you at work. But it could also indicate that your finances are on the upswing. And it's a card of needing to maybe get your health in order. And as I said, with that sixth house activity, this is pretty much the perfect time during the month of September to figure out a way to do this. And the last card I got is the world card. And this is a card of completion. So this might be some project that you are doing. You will see any kind of blockage that you have in the way of finances will likely soon be over and you will be in a new cycle. And this is great because this is just how the universe works sometimes where it's like a season for all things. And there is a definite sense of one thing ending before another thing begins. And so I would say that if you've been working too hard, this card can indicate that, but you can definitely use this opportunity to find a healer because this is also indicated with the world card. And it's even indicated to find alternative medicine if this resonates with you, just like I said with the sign of Virgo, that you might find success in something other than allopathic medicine. But that's up to you, obviously. As an adult, you get to decide what choices you make your, with your health. And in any case, I think that some of these cards really resonate with the stars. And I do believe that with the Nine of Cups that you're going to be having a wonderful time during this month and you're going to be enjoying something. So I hope you enjoyed your reading, Aries, and I wish you a great September. Bye.